I pray that may Allah the Almighty enable you to flourish and to achieve great success in your fields of expertise. And may we soon come to witness the dawn of a new Islamic golden age of intellectual progress and advancement led by Ahmadi Muslims across the world. Amen. Whether that be in the religious sciences, service of others, or scientific research, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community is inspired by the divine leadership of Khilafat to always continue to pursue higher goals in order to usher in a new golden age of Islam. Today we are gathered here for a special program organized by the Association of Ahmadi Muslim Scientists of USA named the Holy Quran and Science Symposium. The program was packed with multifarious presentations, activities and interactive sessions. The event was co-organized by the Ahmadi Women's Scientists Association of USA and Nusrat Sharif Sahiba served as the nazim e ala of the program. The main aim and purpose of this program is to highlight the treasure of scientific knowledge found in the Holy Quran while discovering strategies and tools to enable Ahmadi students and scientists to connect their research with the Holy Quran. Today we are holding 9th Annual Quran and Science Symposium and this is our annual event and we have been planning for it last five to six months and Alhamdulillah we had very good uh, very different speeches that happened from life sciences to engineering. What's really exciting about this year is that we've incorporated much more about technology than in the past. And today we heard an awesome session on tech recharged from batteries to health. And so what I would say is the Quran is, um, has a deeper wisdom than even every age can fully um, comprehend. And that as age goes on, the verses that we're interpreting now will also have deeper meaning in the future. I hope you can see how looking to the Quran can help you validate your own theories and accelerate your research. Uh, I talked about a verse where that describes eight pairs of cattle and how it relates to human development from a Chinese medicine perspective. Now we have access to online lexicons, dictionaries, split word uh, translations, um, instant commentaries. So it actually makes it very easy to, um, to quickly research a topic. I serve as the director of the Abdul Salam Science Fair. We had uh, levels starting from grade school to people who are studying in college, then to professional level and beyond. So the guidance that Huzur has given us is to turn to the Holy Quran for understanding uh, which way we should think about our work. Separate sessions were also held by the Ahmadi Women Scientists Association of USA. The entire program is not just limited to the experienced researchers, Rather, it seeks to inspire the next generation of Ahmadi Muslim scientists as well. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Saeed Chaudhry, and I built the finished product of the car with wheels, a solar power panel, and and yeah, the main body of the car, which is the which is the green board here. So, Alhamdulillah, this was a good chance for the atfal to come and learn about a different topic of science and actually use their hands. Um, put something together uh, and what's really cool is that this is something that they can take home. It encourages them to look into this more in topics related to science and topics related to research. Guests have also arrived from far and wide to participate in this important event. This has certainly been beneficial. We we feel that uh, you know we can reach out to our, our brothers over here to you know uh, to start up new collaborations. The concluding session included a special keynote presentation by Aziza Rahman Sahiba of LA Jamaat, daughter of Dr. Abdul Salam Sahib. This Abdul Salam's exceptional intellect and genius was without doubt a gift bestowed on him by Allah. But there is no reason to suppose that those who follow cannot become an Abdul Salam with Allah Almighty's help and blessing.
By the grace of Allah, the program has served to educate and inspire all the participants who have arrived here from all over the country. This is Umar Farooq reporting from MTA International USA Studios.